Hi and welcome on fly fish fly tying. So today I would like to show you a big fish pattern which is uh, highly inspired by a very nice channel I like to view which is the dark side of pike. So the dark side of pike. So this is a pike or whatever big fish pattern. So I use a Gamakatsu F314 in size 2 O. and a thread which is an ultra thread 140 in black so you need to have a strong thread to make sure that you can pull down the material you want okay first of all make your ground windings and uh, don't forget to check uh, dark side of pike so this is a very nice youtube channel mainly doing pike at musky flies um, yeah you would like it so anyway those big flies are also very usable for big um, saltwater predators so as you want but anyway so I use this for pike fishing okay once you have done your um, ground winding you will use a very nice material which I which is flash blend I think it's from H20 so the water and I use three layers, so I use it in white, I use it in camo, and I also use the black one. To be honest, this is a very simple to tie fly, so not pretty hard. So here you see that's a crystal flash bait fish fiber. So this is what I use and I show you the colors as well. So in Camu, which is a greenish one. The white and the black. So crystal flash. Real raw beef. <laughs> anyway, I really can recommend this material because as you see, it's very strong fibers like uh, Steve Farr fibers or whatever um, and they have some crystal flash in. So I cut a bunch off and don't take too much fibers to be honest because you want to have this fly fluffy and uh, slim in profile so easy to cast. So I do double it the small piece of fibers and then um, yeah, in the length. So this is important here because you probably decide which lengths you want to go for your overall fly. So this fly I tie here is roughly a little more than my full hand palm long. And you see I, I, equ I equally push that on both sides of the hook shank. So now I pull a little bit on the back and then tie it in and honestly make sure that you tie in the material pretty firm if it loosens or if it, yeah then you probably lose some fiber so then i take the blue camu at uh, the blue sorry the greenish camu fiber make sure that you give them that you're tipping them at the end so i use the material so you see there's a, a whole bunch hanging off so i will use it later but then you need to taper it so that you get a real nice tip Tie that in pretty firm too, cut it off, and then you will tie in the material on the other way. So, because you want to have it standing up and down more than just tying it in firm like this. So, then you get a very slim profile, and I will show you how you get a pretty large profile. So, okay, then check the length. So, what you see me doing here several times like this so I do it a little shorter than your tail so so that even the you get a pretty fishy shape later tie this in pretty tight too cut it off and then go to the downside of the hook and use your white material for the belly of the fish pattern you imitate here I normally do the downside a little 
less or a little less long than than the upside so the green material for the back so that you see that here is a little longer than than the white material for the belly make sure you do not cut off the fibers you already have tied in like me here so i, I don't cut it but nearly cutting it okay and then you take some dubbing to hide this thread here so i use a uv gray eye stop um, anyway, you can use whatever you like. Um, I think the UV ice dab gives a very nice shine in the water. Okay, put it in and then hide your thread with it. Okay, some more material is needed here. Great, then pull your fibers back and uh, you see that's a little tricky honestly see that you do not get the hook tip into your hand or fingers so you can spread them and then uh, probably yeah put them into halves and then um, tie that in left and right side i normally just pull it back and then overall you will see it gives a pretty nice shape Okay, I will go a little time lapse now because you will repeat that several times. So as you see here, I probably do it one, two, three, four, five times. It's always the same. Just make sure that your belly side of the fly is has a little shorter material than the upper side for the back. And then do the same like I did already. Secure it with firm pulls on your thread, um, if you, so it, that you see that the fibers lay back a little bit to the tail of the fly. Downside, and then you see I, I use a full length, but I use them double. So I, the one I cut off, I put by side and use it then later again. So then you're dubbing. And then uh, pull it back again. I think we do that two more times. By the way, thanks for all new subscriptions on that channel. And thanks for all likes. So if you want to, uh, want to see me tying a very special fly, just give me a comment what you would like to see. And I normally do that. Uh, anyway, I'm not having always the time to post f uh, fly tying videos here. Sorry for that. I could be a little more consistent and uploading content, but anyway, I have a real job as well, so um, which is some kind of time consuming. What you should make here, the more fibers you take, the bigger the fly gets in profile. So you see me using very small amounts of um, material here. You can use a little more if you like, but anyway, then you probably have uh, yeah, a very big fly so you should experiment a little bit on what you like most in terms of how the fly looks later okay give it a bunch of bar dubbing again and then um, now you change a little bit um, i will tie in some flesh here and i use i don't know eight to ten fibers i use this firefly type pearl flesh here anyway take whatever flesh you have i tie it in that way that i double it put it on the thread and then you can see you can adjust exactly where you want to have it and then make sure that you use some firm pulls with your thread and then you have very nice uh, flashback once you have done that um, you sh yep I take some black and this black should be longer than the other fibers because you want to have it like a real back on the fish you can use an olive I, th I think it's important to to give it a fishy shape that you at least it's darker than the material used for the upper wings so anyway so also give it a little more for the belly so that this equals
then give it some more dubbing again. Make sure your fiber is tied in pretty safe and strong. Yeah, I really like those kind of flies, so... Um, You can tie them bigger or slimmer, but anyway, um, it's pretty nice. Yeah, the crystal flash in here is a little tricky sometimes because I do not like the silver one. They should use should have used pearl or something for the belly. But anyway, um, it's a very nice shining fly at the end. Okay, now you see me. I forgot to take my whip finisher when I made the video, so I try to, I don't know what happens, but my thread is breaking. I'm not really used to do that without uh, my whip finisher anyway. So... And now my thread is breaking and then you see it, it loosens. Anyway, not a big problem at the end. Just give it another layer. And as I said, I normally do not take stuff like that off because this happens in real life. So just give it an, another kind of windings around and secure your, um, your thread and then cut it off and then you can do some more circles with your thread and then yeah probably give it the real whip finish so you see me whip finishing the fly now with my whip finisher which i love two times because I really want to have it secured and then I take off the fly out of the vise to look if I like the shape so I trim it a little bit if, if there's something or either if you not worked equal, equally with the white fibers so you can adjust them here by pulling them back and, and giving them right shape so you see me cutting little trimming Anyway, this one looks pretty nice in shape, so I do not trim and I have some trouble getting it back into the vise, sorry, but uh, so once this is done, you can take your eyes, which I used adhesive eyes. Um, you could do, by the way, um, so they are 8.5 millimeters. You could um, also just glue on the eyes with super glue and then do not do um, what I do here with the UV resin. Anyway, you know I'm a resin freak, so I will use my resin. But uh, yeah, so it. I think for the lifetime of the fly, it doesn't make a, a difference or a big difference if you glue it with the UV resin or just super glue. Okay, I pull back the fibers a little bit and then try to work the material into the head so that it really goes to the hook shank down. Then I release a little because I want to have this fluffy shape of the fly. And then I cure it with my UV light. Then I do the same on the on the belly side of the fly. And then I cure it again. Once I have done this, um, I make sure that the glue goes over the eyes and um, around the head. Anyway, I think that's not necessary to do. Take super glue and put it on your fibers and material, which will work perfectly too. So make sure that your head knot is covered. So if you just glue it with super glue, give some glue on the on the thread at the head or use normal vanish to do that. 
So then I cure my um, resin. And then as you know, you if you have an um, UV resin, which has some adhesives coming up, which makes a sticky impression. So if you if you um, touch them, they're sticky, they're, there's still material left, which comes from the curing process. Um, then wipe it off with some alcohol pads and give it a, a layer with um, some vanish. So you can use nail vanish or either a normal fly tying head vanish, whatever you want. Okay, this is the fly. So thanks for watching my videos. If you like my videos, give me a subscription or a like or whatever you want. Um, thanks for watching and have a great time. Bye bye.